Greetings fellow carbon-based bipeds. I am Scott Rose and you are watching Explosions and Stuff. In honor of Halloween, today I'll be reviewing the 2015 action horror film Wormwood, Road of the Dead, starring Jay Gallagher, Bianca Brady, and Leon Burchill. An overview of the film is that Barry must find his sister in the Australian outback after losing everything else to a plague that turns people into zombies. The pros of this movie? I really liked how in the first few minutes of the movie, they showed normal life. They showed that the main character, Barry, is a regular person. He's got his wife, and he's got his daughter, and it's just, he's a regular husband and father, and just goes about life as normally. But then, once the zombies show up, which doesn't take very long, maybe five, ten minutes at most, it's just go time. Like, it is just balls-to-the-wall action nonstop from that moment on. And it's great. Keeps you on the edge of your seat. There's never really a dull moment at all in this movie. Either they're fighting zombies, they're trying to figure out ways to avoid the zombies, or they're, they're some way dealing with the zombies. There's never just a random tangent that's meaningless. And I love that about this movie. I also loved how these people... We're just regular people. And that was just great. It allowed for a lot of humor in this movie. They didn't know what they were doing. They didn't know how to deal with the zombies. They were just winging it, going off instinct and improvising and doing the best they could with what they had. I really love the character of Benny. He never really fully seemed to understand the seriousness of the situation they were in. And it allowed for some just hilarious times. Like at one point he was like, stop the truck, I gotta get out and pee. So he got out and peed. Turns out he was peeing on a zombie that was laying under some bushes. Well, the zombie came after him and he was like, oh crap, and ran back into the truck without putting his junk away. I thought it was hilarious. It, it definitely added realism to this role and to this character. He's like, he's believable. Because of little things like that. I also really love the costumes. Whoever did, whoever came up with those costumes did a great job. I mean, at one point, the survivors put on this battle armor that they threw together. And it really did look like they just grabbed a bunch of stuff that was in this person's garage. Like football shoulder pads and a hockey goalie mask. And just motocross gear. And it was... It really looked like they just threw it together with crap they had lying around, which in the situation they were in is exactly what would have happened. And it looked great and it looked battle-worn like there were scuff marks and scratches and dings. It looked great. The music in this movie was also just fabulous and was used beautifully. All it did was enhance the emotions that you were supposed to feel at the time. If you were supposed to feel sad, the music made you sadder. If you were supposed to feel angry or excited, the music made you more angry or more excited. It was just very well used and well utilized. It fit the theme perfectly. The makeup was great too, especially with the zombies. Whoever did that makeup design and designed the look of the zombies did an amazing job. It looked great. And it wasn't cliche, stereotypical zombies where it's like, oh, well, lips missing and there's teeth showing. No, it... It looked really good. The cons of this movie? Well, first of all, they used a good bit of shaky cam, which I just don't like. They say People say that shaky cams used to add excitement and adrenaline to action scenes, but it just makes it hard to focus on what's going on. Also, I didn't like the whole use of digital squibs that they did. When you have a movie that's so dark and gritty, and it looks so realistic, and then you have blood squibs that look almost cartoonish, it just takes away from the final pit, from the final product. And in this case, it hurts the suspension of disbelief, made it harder to believe, you know, this is real, and makes it a little more difficult to get caught up in the movie. Another thing I didn't like was how they just conveniently happened to run into the truck that had Barry's sister in it. I mean, the whole plot of the movie was them trying to find Barry's sister. 
And then, oh, there she is in that truck right in front of us. We better go get her now. Ooh, convenience. Another thing I didn't like was how, at, at one point in the movie, towards the beginning in the first half hour, Barry's wife and daughter turn into zombies. And he has to kill them. When he kills his wife, it's it happens off screen. You just see him aiming at her and firing, and that's it. Then it cuts to her, and she's got two nails in her head. But when he has to kill his daughter, the audience, the viewer, has to sit there and watch as a father aims a nail gun and shoots his daughter in the head with a nail gun. You have to watch the impact of the nail and the blood fly out from behind her head and see her body just jerk back. It was very uncomfortable to watch that. It was, I feel, unnecessary. They could have gotten the same effect with having her die off screen just like her mother did. It would have been fine. Another thing I didn't like, and this really is more of a nitpicking, is they used a lot of Australian lingo, which I didn't understand. I get that it's an Australian movie, and all the actors are Australian, and their writers are Australian, and everyone involved in this movie is Australian. I understand that. I get that. My issue is, a lot of times they use this lingo that I just didn't understand. Because I don't, I'm not Australian. I'm not part of that culture, so I didn't understand what they were talking about sometimes. My favorite fight in this movie is in the first half hour of it. It's right after Barry kills his wife and daughter. He tries to kill himself, but he's out of ammunition in his nail gun. And then another guy finds him. And, well, I call that guy Baldy Beard, because he was bald and he had a massive beard. He's got a rifle with him. Well, Barry takes the rifle away from him, goes to put him, puts the barrel of it under his chin, goes to shoot himself. And then Baldy Beard punches him in the face and takes the gun back. And then the two of them start fighting. And Barry's sitting there, he's like, let me kill myself, let me die. And Baldy Beard's like, I don't want to hurt you. And he's just punching him in the face. You know, it was very funny and I loved it. Because it's Halloween, I decided to include my favorite death in the movie as well. And my favorite death would have to be Baldy Beard's death. Him and Barry are walking through the woods, and then all of a sudden, Baldy Beard's head just explodes and blood goes everywhere. And Benny runs up, because Benny just shot him in the face with a sawed-off shotgun. And he's like, I thought he, Benny's like, I thought he was a zombie. He's not a zombie? Is he Okay. I thought it was hilarious. I laughed my ass off. My overall thoughts on this movie? This movie was like Mad Max, but with zombies in it. I loved it. I generally hate zombie movies, but I loved this movie. Most of my complaints about it were just me nitpicking about little things. I have to give this movie two thumbs up. Easily earns two thumbs up. And I would recommend it to anybody who wants a good zombie movie or who just wants an exciting movie that will keep them on the edge of their seat the whole time. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like it and subscribe to my channel for more action movie reviews posted every Friday. Also, if you have any recommendations for movies you would like me to review in the future, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you and Happy Halloween!